Embarking on a journey that spans across time zones and continents can be a thrilling adventure, but the reality of enduring long hours in economy class can sometimes dampen that excitement. However, with a few strategic moves and preparations, even the longest of flights can transform into a more pleasant experience. Today, we're sharing our top seven tips for managing long flights in economy class. Let's dive in with the first tip, choose your seat wisely. Whether you pay extra for early seat selection or just check in as soon as possible, aim to avoid a bad seat. A bad seat is usually one that offers very little space, making it tough to stay comfortable for more than a few hours. For instance, if you're taller than six feet, you might want to think about getting a seat with extra legroom, like a bulkhead seat, because a regular economy seat could be very cramped for you. Also, if you have an injury to an arm or leg, sitting in a middle seat could be very uncomfortable. To make your long flight as comfy as possible, try to choose your seat when you book your ticket. If you can, pay a little extra for the chance to pick your seat early. The cost of this varies depending on the airline, but it's usually worth it. If you've got a basic economy ticket that assigns seats at check-in, make sure to check in as soon as you can. The longer you wait, the less likely you are to get a good seat. Try to avoid seats at the back near the toilets, since people might bump into you as they wait to use the bathroom. The second tip is to wear comfortable clothes. It's nice to look stylish when you arrive, but that can sometimes mean sacrificing comfort, which isn't ideal for a long flight. The best outfit for flying is something loose and made from a breathable fabric. It's also a good idea to wear layers, since the temperature on the plane can vary. Avoid clothes with tight waistbands and choose shoes that will be comfortable to wear throughout the flight. You should also think about wearing glasses instead of contact lenses during your flight. The air on planes is very dry, which can make your eyes feel dry too, making contacts uncomfortable to wear. But if you really prefer contacts, consider buying some eye drops to keep your eyes hydrated. Another good idea is to wear compression socks. When you sit still for a long time, especially in tight spaces, it can affect blood flow in your legs. If you tend to get sore or swollen legs on long flights, compression socks might really help. Our third tip is to keep yourself hydrated. The air on planes is much drier than what you're used to, and it's easy to get dehydrated. Make sure to drink plenty of water. You can get water from the flight attendants during the flight, buy a bottle before you board, or bring a reusable water bottle and fill it up after you've gone through security. You can even bring a water bottle through security if it's frozen, though that might not be practical if you have a long trip to the airport. Besides water, try to limit drinks that can dehydrate you, like caffeine and alcohol. If you do have them, just have a small amount. And don't forget to bring moisturizer and lip balm. The dry plain air can dry out your skin and lips, so it's a good idea to have some moisturizer and lip balm handy. For a better experience on long flights in economy, it's important to pack everything you need in your hand luggage. Think about using a duffel bag since it's just the right size. You'll want to bring a water bottle that can be squished down to save space when it's empty. A neck pillow is also a good idea because it can make sitting more comfortable, not just for your neck, but also for your back, legs, or arms. Bringing headphones that cancel out noise or simple earplugs can help you sleep by keeping the plane's noise away. Don't forget compression socks to help keep your legs from getting sore, a portable charger for your devices, eye drops to keep your eyes from getting dry, an eye mask to help you sleep by blocking out light, and maybe a light blanket to keep warm, as long as it fits in your bag. Packing these things will help you feel more comfortable during your flight. Tip number five is all about keeping yourself entertained. Besides trying to sleep, finding ways to keep busy is key to enjoying a long flight. While you can't bring big gaming consoles like a PlayStation or Xbox, there are lots of other ways to stay entertained. Even though planes offer movies and shows, they might not always have what you like. It's a good idea to bring your own entertainment. If you have a tablet or laptop, you can download movies, books, podcasts, and TV shows before your flight. Remember to charge your device and bring a portable charger. Or you could bring a real book to read. Some people like to use this time to think about their life and write in a journal, so you might want to bring a notebook and pen too. Tip number six is about planning for how you want to feel after your flight. While it's important to make your time in the air as comfortable as possible, it's also key to think about how you'll feel once you land. You don't want to arrive feeling tired, sick, or grumpy. 
One way to help avoid this is by eating well during your flight, as much as the airline food allows. If you don't like the food on the plane, you can bring your own healthy snacks. Also, try not to get too caught up in watching movies and not sleeping. It might be fun to watch back-to-back -back films, but getting some sleep will make you feel a lot better when you get to where you're going. But sleep isn't everything. This brings us to tip seven, to always bring your own food and snacks. While airlines often provide meals on longer flights, the quality and quantity might not meet your personal preferences or dietary needs. Packing your own food ensures you have tasty and satisfying options. Consider bringing non-perishable snacks like nuts, granola bars, or fruit snacks. Sandwiches or salads are also great for the main meal. Just remember to avoid strong smelling foods out of courtesy to fellow passengers. This not only keeps your energy levels up, but also ensures you have food you enjoy and can eat when you're hungry, rather than waiting for set meal times. Let's move on to tip number eight. Create a personal care kit. Long flights can take a toll on your body, leaving you feeling less than fresh. A personal care kit can be a game changer in revitalizing your senses and boosting your comfort. Include items such as a toothbrush and toothpaste, face wipes, hand sanitizer, a small deodorant, and perhaps a travel-sized refreshing facial spray. These items don't take up much space, but can make a huge difference in how you feel during and after the flight. Being able to freshen up at your seat or in the lavatory can help you arrive feeling refreshed and more like yourself. And for the final tip, number nine. Remember to move around. Just because you have compression socks doesn't mean you should sit still the whole time. Staying in your seat for too long will only make you stiff and sore later. Of course, you can't really exercise in the usual way on a plane, but you can still move a bit. Try standing up now and then, or take a short walk down the aisle. Doing small movements like rotating your ankles or stretching a bit can really help reduce discomfort. Moving around a little during the flight can make a big difference in how you feel. By incorporating these nine tips into your travel routine, you can significantly improve your comfort and overall flight experience, even in economy class. From choosing your seat wisely, to dressing comfortably, staying hydrated, packing essentials in your hand luggage, keeping entertained, planning for your post-flight well-being, bringing your own snacks, creating a personal care kit, and remembering to move around, each strategy plays a crucial role in transforming your journey. These tips are not just about enduring the flight, but making the most of your time in the air. Ensuring you arrive at your destination, feeling refreshed, well rested, and ready to explore. So, do you have some tips left for long haul economy? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.